Today's video is being sponsored by Indium91.com. Be sure to visit the website for all your graphic needs, anything from digital to physical. Now, if I told y'all I was bald not too long before I shot this video, you probably wouldn't believe me, right? Because here I am looking extra clean, lines looking crispy, and I'm going to show y'all how I did it right now. So make sure you thumbs up the video, subscribe to the page, and be prepared to be amazed. What's good everybody, it's your boy Nate Matthews and I'm back again with another video. Today, I found a little trick and I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, all you guys that was just not satisfied, you just cannot uh, build up your own self-esteem with having a bald head. Um, I got a little trick for y'all and I'm gonna show you guys. As you can see up close, there is no hairline going on here. There is some hair on my head. Um, I decided to let it grow out um, to make this um, illusion a lot more realistic. So what I'm going to do to start is because I actually shaved my head a few days ago. I'm going to go ahead and reshave it. Now normally when I shave my head bald, I do use a safety razor, which is this right here if you guys are unfamiliar. But today we're going to go ahead and use these right here. These are the wall color pro trimmers, uh, clippers I should say. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take them off. And we're about to use no guard. We're going to be able to do this real that way. Quick. We can get the... Uh, the hair is even as possible because the reason I do shave my head is because even though it does grow up at the top, it's very, very, very thin and does not match the rest. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on that too so you guys can see. If that counts as hair, that's hair up there. Um, but yeah, it doesn't count what it counts. As you guys can see, it is taking off some hair. There we are. So after you use the clippers to go ahead and trim up your head to make it as even as possible at the lowest possible setting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just get this excess hairs out of my head by using a hot towel. Got a nice little even haircut with a little bit of peach fuzz on there. No defined hairline at all whatsoever. But we're about to change that. We're about to put one in there. So this right here is the main thing we're gonna be using um, for this illusion. This is a company called Topic, uh, and these are hair building fibers that we're gonna pour on our head. Now inside, it's pretty much like um, uh, blended hair. It's not actual hair, I forget. I think it's like keratin or something like that, dyed keratin. Again, I got the this in uh, black. It comes in a range of colors. You can find all the links in the description. Um, but what it is, it has like a little grater on it, right? And you pretty much sprinkle the hair out onto your head. Now, in order to keep this stuff from going all over the place, we're gonna use this right here. This right here is a spray applicator. It's going to allow it to uh, be directed where you want it to go um, better than sprinkling, right? Now, this doesn't do a terrific job, but it does help out a little bit. And this is what it looks like right here. It's a little pump that you just screw on top of the bottle. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Just go ahead and pull this out. Do a little twist. Shake off the excess so you don't waste any. And you can go ahead and put the screw top on here. Boom, now you got a little sprayer so you can spray it on. Now if you spray it too close, it's gonna come out really, really dark. And if you spray it from too far, it's gonna land everywhere else but your head. I think the best way to do it is actually by using this right here. Now this is a shaving brush to go ahead and lather up some soap, some cream and stuff like that on your face. If your baby beard's uh, coming in or if, you don't, if you're not watching uh, as a part of the beard gang community. Um, same thing, you use to shave your head and all that to lather soap. I get a shave brush. This is one, one of my cheaper ones here that I don't really like too much. So I don't mind if it gets messed up. But good thing is it doesn't look like it did get messed up at all. So to get started, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and start spraying it. Getting the back all blended in is very easy. Hardest part is actually the hairline, making sure you have enough and it's not too dark. So that's where I like to start. As you guys can see it going on. The goal is not to make a hairline with this. You actually want it to go a little bit lower than where your hairline is at because then we're gonna use some trimmers to actually line it up. And I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you spray it too hard, put too much. It makes a really, really dark spot and it's very hard to um, get that fixed unless you have this 
So this is how you fix this. If you spray too much, just go ahead and pat it on there. And there it is. You can kind of still see it. But good thing is, we're not done. Don't laugh yet, because it's going to turn out pretty decent. It does look crazy because it doesn't blend in. I'm going to go ahead and put the regular sprinkle one back on top so I can get more coverage at once. And go ahead and just start sprinkling it on. Now, it's a whole bunch on there, right? Don't you worry, though, because we're going to blend it in with this. All this thing does is pretty much picks it up from where you put it and sets it down somewhere else, right? Fellas, if you plan on using this to catfish uh, the ladies out there, be careful, because if they find out, man, they might, they might do something to you, dog. I would say the number one thing to everything, man, is just your self-esteem. And if you are losing your hair, um, even better, if you're just thinning out, like if you're starting to lose your hair, um, I think this is a great product because Again, I've been testing it out and it does look very realistic. Even people that see me damn near every day see me when I put this on there and they thought it was real. And even myself, I thought it was real too. But it was just super funny looking at it because I know good and well it wasn't real. And I've been shaving my head for so long that seeing myself with a lineup looked uh, pretty funny. Also, if you do it too close, you might actually blow the stuff away. Um, because that's what this pump is. It's like it pushes air in there to make all the hairs fly up. And then when you press it again, they fly out. So if you press it too hard, too much air is going to come out. So be careful with that. Now you don't want to press this too hard on your head. You just want to pretty much tap it. Because even if you were to like brush this off, it will fly off. But when you're finished, we got something that's going to lock it in. And we're going to set it on, on top of the hair. That way, uh, if it's a windy day, you don't have to worry about your hair flying away. This is something different. Um, but this one actually looks real with the uh, spray and the Beijing. It is like super, super dark and it just pretty much paints your entire skin um, and it doesn't look real. And if you try to do it with the hair uh, haircut as low as mine, um, it's going to be very noticeable. It's going to be really uh, shiny. So this now before I do the lineup, I'm going to show you guys up close. Now, honestly, guys, this does look like real hair. Let me know what you guys think. But y'all gonna be real amazed once I start doing the now, These are the wall G Wiz trimmers, the battery operated trimmers right here. These are what I'm gonna be using to put a line up in my head. A line, watch this, watch this line go in there. I think it would be real helpful too if I had like some uh looks crazy because I got so much like on my face. But if you have like a Q-tip or something, be even better. That way you can clean it up and brush off the excess so you don't hit, hit that line too close. Y'all see it? Y'all see that lineup coming in? If y'all think this is cool and you never seen something like this before, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. About the catfisher on, a, on the first day. Here we are. So we have the fiber hold spray. And now you want to put this at a little distance away from your head. That way you don't blow it away when you spray it on. We'll go ahead and just cover your eyes because it does just pretty much squirt everywhere. But go ahead and just... Spray a good amount. That way it's going to actually set on top of your scalp. Um, it's going to take a little while for it to dry. But when it locks in, it's going to hold it uh, for a good amount of time. Now this is something that is not going to stay in there for days at a time. Um, but I do think you can get away with it all day. Um, but you still have to be cautious, guys. You cannot. Um, you damn sure can't be putting a hat on and off. Uh, you can't be having a hoodie or nothing on your head. When I was doing a test yesterday... Um, maybe I'll even throw the footage in here in this video as well. But when I was getting ready to take this out yesterday as a test, I went ahead and patted my head and you've seen a little bit of it show up on my hands, but it never really affected the hair. I also took a couple drops of water and I dripped it in there and the hair did not drip away with the water. But once I had water on there and then I started patting, more of it came off on my hands. So if you are deciding to, to do this and you try it and your hair gets wet, um, 
I guess you're gonna have to wait for that joint to evaporate because if you try to pat dry your head or something like that, you're gonna wipe this stuff out. So this is not a permanent solution. Again, uh, if you guys uh, never seen my video about going bald at a young age, that is the actual reason why I've decided to do this test. I've known about this product for a long time now and I always told myself I wasn't gonna try it, but um, this channel is actually for you guys. If it was just for me, I can keep all my secrets to myself, right? Um, so I'm sorry and I'm willing to, you know, try out different products that you guys might recommend to me or stuff that you guys may not even knew existed. Um, but I have a lot of different products I know about that I plan on trying on this channel, um, as well as a whole bunch of different products that I'm waiting to receive from different companies and some that I even received a long time ago. And I'm just waiting for the right time to actually show you guys um, how those products work and give you guys my opinion on them. If you guys don't think this is a good solution, um, definitely feel free to leave your opinion. I don't mind if you thumbs up or thumbs down, but I do ask this. If you do thumbs down, uh, tell us why, you know? Tell us why, say. So let us know if it's my fault if I did a bad job doing a lineup or uh, ladies, if you're watching, would you rather a, a, a guy just be upfront and just be confident that he's bald or that he's thinning? Um, what, what you guys think about it? Me, I'm fully comfortable being bald, but only when I'm fully bald. Now, uh, if I walked around with the haircut that I started with at the beginning of this video, um, I'm not fully confident in that because that's where you can actually see the thin areas. Um, so I don't feel good when you can actually notice that I'm thinning. But when I'm fully bald, nobody really knows if you did it on your own or if you're actually um, thinning out. So if you just shave it all the way off, man, they can't really say nothing. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty cool product um glad i actually gave it a shot now there is some areas where it looks a little bit uh you know like little small clumps but the fact that i was able to get a nice crispy line when i have not been able to do that in a minute again that line looks a tad tad bit crooked but we ain't trying to make it perfect right i ain't got nowhere to be and it would have been cool too if I would have lined up the beard, but we'll worry about that in another video. If you guys want to see me use this product in another video, uh, if you have any questions about it, definitely uh, leave those questions in the comments. So if you guys didn't understand by now, the reason why I did not shave my head fully bald is because it actually makes the false hairline at the top actually blend in with the real hair. So it makes it look very, very realistic um, actually to me. Um, versus being bald and then you're either gonna have to spray it everywhere or you're just gonna have hair on the top but I think it looks pretty good if you guys found this video helpful if you guys want to uh, see more if you guys have any questions definitely subscribe and do not forget to hit that gray notification button so you don't miss any of my videos thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next one Snake, Matthew's on the beat.